Hi, I'm Junior with Keystone RV Center off I-81, exit 1, Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Today we got Ben with us. Ben, introduce yourself a little bit. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm uh, the Regional Sales Manager for Arctic and Alpha Wolf. Awesome. And today, me and Ben were talking about why they're going to, well, why they're staying with the cable-driven system in the Arctic and Alpha Wolf division. Yep. And my initial thought was, they are a price leader in the lightweight fiberglass uh, division. They are built like they are almost an upscaled. There, I mean, there's some upper scale products that don't look as good as yours in the in industry, and you guys are still coming in at that low price tier. I thought we were going cable because it's cheaper. Yeah, I, I think that's a common misconception. I think a lot of people um, have thought, well, maybe that would be less expensive because the metal. It actually costs us more money um, as a division to go to. Uh, cable slides, but the reason that we do it, well, it's a few reasons. One, um, all of our Arctic Wolves uh, and Alpha Wolves are designed to be used by light duty vehicles. You want half ton trucks, you want um, SUVs, you don't want to have to be going to a huge truck to get to pull the camper you want. So, part of the, the cost, the reason we spend the money is um, it does save us some weight. So, for every cable slide we put in versus rack and pinion, we are going to save some weight. Um, the other thing that it does advantageously for us is when we have heated and closed underbellies. You know, we want to seal the underbelly, we want to keep the heat that's going down there into the tanks, into the water line so that it can um, keep that from freezing. If you have holes cut into your frame, you're just allowing gaps for that air to come out and you're forcing air into a place where it's just inevitably going to leak out. Um, the other thing is, is that when you have a rack and pinion slide, it's pulling from a bar on the bottom. And that's great, but if you store your coach over the winter, that's having one point of the seal on the bottom and that top starts to creep out and your tightest point on your seal is never going to be at the top, it's going to be on the bottom. Whereas on a uh, Norco cable slide system, you've got four points of pull, one on each corner, so that you're going to equal pull all the way across the board. Um, they use aircraft grade uh, lines, so it's, it's strong, it's durable, it's lighter weight. But when you have a product like that, of course, it's going to cost more money. But we spend the money um, because we feel like it's worth it for the customers that we want to do. And I'll honestly say the lightweight part, uh, it just dawned on me how many times I get a customer come in here and they go, I've got the F-150 with the EcoBoost and I can tow 11,000. Well, we find out that it's the wrong EcoBoost. It's the fuel economy one and their gear rate or their gear ratio is incorrect. Right. And their 11,000 pound becomes 7,000 pounds, right. and I can go to the same floor plan on a product like yours right. and keep the customer happy and not jump their price out of the range because right. you guys have really marketed that. Now, how are you getting there on a regular basis? Well, the, bi the biggest thing that we did was um, there's, there's going to be um, several products. You're going to have Arctic Wolf, you're going to have Alpha Wolf, you're going to have Wolf Pack, and you're going to have Cherokee. They're all buying... Um, as, a, as a collective group, the same you know, wall board, the same countertops, the same cabinet doors. Um, when you go from buying individually to buying collectively, you're buying the same uh, product across four brands. You can have a buying advantage to where you're buying um, a lot far, uh, far back from, of invoice from most brands to be able to put that quality and that lightweight product into your into your fifth wheels into your travel trailer. So, you know, when we're saying um, we want to be able to be towed mostly by half ton trucks, you know, there's three weight ratings. You've got to have the gross combined vehicle weight rating, you've got to have the payload, and you've got to have the tow rating all considered. So we want to have light pin weights, we want to have light overall weights, um, but we don't want to sacrifice. Most people have said, I, I'm, I'm stepping up into this product. I want to have the one touch auto leveling system. I want to have tire pressure monitors. I want to have um, 50 amp service and second ACs and and bigger fridges and, and we tried to provide that along with you know quality two inch thick um, laminated walls with aluminum structure and um, plywood floors and um, all the things that are going to help your coach last um, while looking great and having the right features but we wanted to keep our costs down um, so that uh, these families who have you know vacations to go on and, and kids to spend money on can still afford to go camping and you guys really have just done fantastic. We picked our product up, we started getting them on our lot May of 2018, we're filming this January of 2019, in case this video is up for like six years and you're like, yeah, so I bought my last three alphas from you guys, you've had it forever. <laughs> right? Well, the, the internet lasts a long time. But I, I honestly was expecting the cable drive systems to be a headache on every customer I sold, and they haven't been. Right. I, I can't think of one customer I've had personally that they said, I've had a problem with your with this because and 
anybody that's bought from me, you know, you know, you've got my cell phone number. Don't post it in the comments down below. <laughs> Mark will delete it. But I get those phone. Mark, Mystery Mark's sitting back there shaking his head. If you don't know who Mystery Mark is, jump on our Instagram and you'll see that. But um, but no, I, I get those phone calls from my customers on a regular basis when something goes wrong. And I'll be honest, I don't get phone calls on your product. And when I call to check in, it might be they're like, oh yeah, I had a blemish here on like a little piece of woodwork underneath the cabinetry that nobody saw until my wife was cleaning it for the sixth time. Right. And that, if that's, and I've got a call to say, hey, how's everything going with the camper? And you've got to come up with something. Those are the kind of, the, those are the problems that I want to see. Well, we, we really appreciate that. You know, we, we, we take a lot of pride in the type of products that we buy for the camper. Um, um, we really have a great purchasing team with attention to detail, um, a great a great product team that's putting you know good floor plans. Um, but part of the secret has also been um, we've got one of the best um, assembly staffs in the industry, and we've kept it simple. We've got six floor plans of fifth wheels. We've got six floor plans of travel trailers. We've got guys who are being consistent and doing the same thing every time. So in addition to putting um, premium quality product in there, you've got to have guys who are putting them together well and doing the same thing and keeping a, a good group together together um, fosters a better product and we're real proud of that yeah no and the floor plants that they've got whenever I first heard this like oh they've only got six floor plants that was my way I digested that was they've only got six but the six they have are good they don't have three what I call open open bunkhouse setups where the bunk bunk rooms right off the dinette area right in the living area right. there's some products that got two three four of those same floor plants like oh we changed this one here and we moved this here no they just design one good one right. and move forward with it and they do it well and well we want to we want to focus on what we can um, what we believe is going to be our best foot forward and, and eventually i'm sure that we'll come out with um, a couple other floor plans trying to be innovative trying to come up with something new because you want to push the envelope you want to you want to see um, if you can do something that better provides a camping experience for your customers right but um, we also don't want to lose who we are we don't want to get away from um, the things that have made it successful which is having um, great floor plans at a great price consistency of build um, and the features that uh, most people uh, equate with something that's going to be 10 grand more than where we're at. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, let's not keep you too long. I know you got places to go, yep. things to do. I appreciate you uh, taking time to do this. Absolutely. Once we get done with the video, we're going to take an Instagram photo. Okay. We're going to act like we took it before the video. Fair enough. They won't know until they watch the video, though, so that okay. works. All right, guys, thank you for uh, tuning in. Give us a call if you have any questions. Comment down below, 1-800-232-3279. Have a great day. Thanks.